that's an eight year old tomorrow's birthday party um, and I am doing her a birthday cake regular viewers will remember of course the infamous fairy tale castle cake this is a slightly more humble affair easier affair I hope uh, I'm doing um, a Sylvanian family house cake <laughs> Uh, so they've got such long titles. Yeah, they have. Cakes. It's so I, elaborate. I just make cake. Yeah, uh, Kayla makes cakes. I make cake, kind of novelty cake. cake, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> anyway, this here, I made two lemon drizzle cakes and I put one down as the house and then this one I've kind of trimmed, if you can see. I've put it on a cake board that I have covered with green sugar paste icing and I've got lots of other icing that I'm now going to drape over the house in an artistic fashion to make it look more than a humble cake. This is the icing I've already prepared. Um, you can buy this icing, it's called different things, sugar paste, royal, royal icing. icing, but what you do is knead some food colouring paste into the dough until you get the right colour. I'm going to make a piece that's big enough to cover the bottom half of my house. Okay. So I reckon maybe a bit about that big. And literally, I'm just going to, yeah, perfect. Now palm of the hand is quite important when you ice a cake because it makes things lovely and smooth and it warms things up. So all you have to do is kind of dress the cake really. It's going to get rid of this excess around here. So there's a join there but you can see I'm kind of rubbing it together with the heat of my finger. Yeah, I mean it's amazing. So it's, you can't really you know, see it. It's actually invisible. Well. This makes it shiny as well, shinier if you rub it. So there we have the base of the house. So the next bit of the house that we've got, we're going to make a thatched roof. Now I made a kind of yellowy, thatchy colour earlier. Actually a trick to the icing is, is don't turn it over, just roll it out and then you'll always have one good side, the top side. So if the underside does get icing sugar or crumbs on it, it doesn't matter because it's going to go, it's not going to be showing. So I'd used a tiny bit of yellow but I also mixed in a bit of red and a bit of black to kind of create a strawy colour. And you know, even if the cake cracks, it doesn't matter because you can just hide it with what's happening on top. This is some uh, glass icing, icing I am just for safety. Going to use it as a kind of glue. What, can you make me a chimney stack? Out of icing? Yeah, would you mind? It's a lovely way to spend the day making a cake for your daughter with your sister. Mm -hmm. Our mum used to make these for us, didn't she? Cakes like this, it was yeah. very good. It does look quite strawy. Thanks. Okay. Um, so now we've done the roof, we've done the house itself. I'm going to just do some little windows just at the front um, and I am going to make them white, just a bit of a contrast. So a tiny bit of icing as a glue. And what I want you to do, really, really skinny worms, skinny ones so I can make crosses for the windows. It's not her birthday till tomorrow so when, you're not going to get the shot where you see her. My goodness, what an amazing cake! What an amazing mother I have. But we'll try to post a picture of it. We'll put it on our Twitter, Crumbs Food. Okay, so last bit, the door. I'm doing a number eight, not because we live at number eight, but because my daughter is eight. That looks great. Yeah. Um, can you just cut these glacé cherries in half? And then I think what we'll have, leading up to the cottage, a glacé cherry path. I would like to write happy birthday Elizabeth on it, but I'm just not talented enough. <laughs> so there we have it. Uh, a Sylvanian family cottage, complete with thatched roof, number eight on the door, glacé cherry path, four little hedgehogs, initial E for Elizabeth. So happy birthday, darling. Eight, can't believe it. Do you have any memories of good cakes, bad cakes? Check out our fairy castle cake. It's a bit of an adventure. Yes. <laughs> it's a roller coaster of a ride. Whereas this was great, wasn't it? Anyway, see you soon. Bye bye. Bye. We're sisters and together we're crumbs. We both like cooking and we love food and chocolate and red wine. <laughs>